Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Jesse Snyder and this is Sunny Days Events and Rentals, Juno's premier wedding and event specialist. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified every time I post a video. On this channel, we'll be talking about what aspects of your wedding you can DIY and which are best left to the pros. Today I want to talk about table numbering again. I've talked about table numbering and its importance in the past and I'll include a link up here on my video on how to do foiled tent table numbers on in which I go through in detail why it's important to do table numbering. Today I want to do these beautiful acrylic table numbers. These are absolutely gorgeous and they can be customized any way you'd like. This is for a wedding with a purple theme, but you can do them with any color and any font you'd like. First, you'll need a pack of acrylic cards. I've got this for Zach Pet Sheet Plex Plessy Glass that you can cut and knurl and saw, and saw, no L, saw. Um, but this worked wonderfully. This the first comes thing in a pack of do. 10. Most weddings, especially with COVID, are less than 10, so this is just fine. <laughs> Excuse the cat. Before you prep your plexiglass, that comes with protective clear film on it. You'll need to choose your color acrylic paint. You'll need to choose what color marker you would like to have your table numbers written on. Um, these two pens come in the, the pack of for Zach plexiglass. So that was nice and handy. Then you'll need to go and print out on your printer if you would like to trace your numbers, saying you don't have the best handwriting. Um, so I just went and print out table two. Um, obviously, you can go table one, table three, table done. You don't have to print out them exactly like this. This was for another project. But you can print out the table because you'll use that for every card, every table number you do. You just need to print out the numbers that will change with each table. And of course, you don't have to use table numbers either. You could use your favorite 10 flowers, your favorite vacation destinations, your favorite music favorite songs and my cat really wants to go outside you can use your favorite songs you can use your favorite book titles you can use your favorite sports teams anything that has the quantity of tables that you need to fulfill so if you're having a table of 10 you need to make sure you're there are 10 favorite teams or 10 favorite destinations so once you have your paint color picked your marker color picked. I'm going to go with gold because I just really like the gold. And once you have your stencil traced out, go ahead and carefully remove the cling film that's attached to your Oh, it's very hard to remove, but eventually it'll come. Just remove the cling film. Now they have cling film on both sides, so don't worry. You'll have the opportunity to remove it twice. And then first we're going to write down, trace out our numbers. So just carefully lay it on the card and make sure the numbers are where you want. If you want the numbers, the table a little higher, go ahead and do that. Um, it, when you are tracing your table numbers, you don't need to remove the cling film from the back yet. So then just trace. Thank you. 
The more squeaks you do, the funner the project is, especially if you have children. And look, I got the wonderful hand calligraphy effect on this card without having to know how to do calligraphy. At this point, you'll need to get a little uh, Kleenex tissue paper, something soft, and peel up the cling film on the other side of the plexiglass. I like having the tissue so it doesn't accidentally scrape off the calligraphy that I just did. And I'm, I have a nice wide fat brush and my paint. I'm just going to woo, glob some paint on. This process may have to happen in a few steps because if it doesn't get dark enough, you might have to let it dry. And now you're just having fun painting. Doesn't particularly matter how you paint. You just want it extra dark behind your numbers. And the more kind of random and offset it is, the more custom it looks like this whole project was. And if you're going through the, pro the process of doing custom table numbers, then it would be nice to have it look nice and finished. So here is after one coat of my paint. And I quite like that. Um, if I wanted some of these spots a little bit darker, I would wait for this to dry. You can use a hair dryer or a uh, simple little fanning motion if you happen to be in a warm location. I am not. I am in Alaska and it is snowing still. But it doesn't mean I'm not hot inside. Once you have these table numbers customized for all your tables, then you get to play around with how you're going to prop them up at the table. There are many different avenues of propping up your your table numbers and I'll include some photos of what some of those are. You can prop them up against your centerpieces, you can prop them up against a stack of books, you can prop them up, you can get little holders. You really be inventive, be creative, incorporate your style into these table numbers. You want them to be another subtle hint at what your theme is. Themes don't need to whack you over the top of the head and say, look at me, I'm a nautical theme. I must have boats and I must have fish and I must have fishnets and shells and everything. And everything must include a way to include a nautical theme into these table numbers without putting a fish right on your table numbers is to use a ocean palette. Greens and blues, dark blues, light blues. And that way you still carry your theme through in a subtle way. And you will know that you put the effort into these. Your guests will go, oh, look at those. Those are so cool. And overall, it will all fit together. Nothing will be glaring at your guests as as to, oh, well, that's too much. It, that's tacky. They, they wanted to throw that in, but that's too much. Here, I'm creating an example of a table number using the same method as before, but this time using an ocean palette.
most of the time I put the products that I create for sale on my on my page and I will include a link below if you want to contact me so that I can make custom table numbers for you however this time I'm going to be including these acrylic forms blank in my rental inventory for my Juno brides they get to have all the fun with choosing their paintings and choosing their calligraphy however I always am there to to please if you don't want to do the work I will do the work for you local Juno brides on a rental basis So with that, I'd like to wish you, with that, I'd like to wish that you have a sunny day and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.